I found some new interesting stuff. Of course, I covered this guy in one of my videos. By the 112 dirt bag. I think my Dave man, Dave from Vermont, sent me a picture of him with similarities to someone that the 112 dirt bag recommends in one of his videos or something. But this guy right here is an actual. Uh, I've been meaning to look him up. Now that this video came up, I didn't have to. <laughs> and I forgot. But this guy's literally got a 411 series on missing persons. Now, due to the M Cave uh, guy that I've been covering. I figured I'd give him some uh, publicity. Let's see, what was his name? I forgot his name. I forgot his name. I forget my own goddamn name. I think I still have it. Yeah, there it is. This guy. Due to this guy, and, you know, looking this up, guy up constantly, there has been another case not too far from this guy of Kenny Veach. Um, oh, the disappeared on Monday, November 2014. I thought it was earlier than that. 2014, yeah. Well, 2014, people. Um, there he is. Now, once again, we have a, I want to go over a little bit. He's a enthusiast of hiking through, um, you know, say the, the uh, we want to call them desert lands of Nevada. Now, now that I see the date on this, 2014, I am very surprised how much this comes up. And there's another guy now, and I've went and made up a little mapping of it and wow I mean <laughs> you're gonna love this one sheep mountains in Nevada remember that word ah uh, what else sheep mountains a very strange cave in the Mojave desert evoke strange you know, supernatural occurrences. Just want to quickly go over this. And before his disappearance, Kenny commented on a YouTube video claiming to have found cave around Nellis Air Force Base, Southern Nevada. Kenny, Kenny was a brave explorer. He entered every cave he came across, but this particular cave frightened him so that being said the Air Force Base and I did do the mapping it was like below I mean atop the Air Force Base but I'm gonna go over it anyways because this next case and it never came up and I don't know why looking this guy up but remember all this 2014 the Sheep Mountains, the Air Force Base. Now, this guy has been doing missing cases, 411 missing cases, and he has a huge category of 411, I believe it's books. It might be books or even videos, but he has a series of it, of missing people. Now, what he claims is what I've been saying in other videos now. A lot of disappearances. Now, this is off another video. I'll show the video. I believe I got it right. If not, I'll just go back on it. But claims of by water. Missing people come up by water a lot. And they cannot explain why. Oh, which leads me to another case that came up. And... Haha! <laughs> I can't wait to go over that one. But water. 
is the main missing cause of missing people. You know, through hiking stuff. Now, that leaves me, right? Even caves and water, to me, are the underground transport of tunnels that no one knows about until now. I'm telling you, there's something in the water systems. In this next video after this one I'm going to go over, is going to prove my theories. I forgot all about it, and it's got to do with the creature up there in Vermont way near the border of Can Canada line. Oh, yes. So this serpents that have been going on through the dawn of time with Indians, they're true now. And when water is the main loss of people, <laughs> this is just getting better. In the caves now, mind you, of course, they go 50, 60 feet underground. What do you think there really goes beneath? Uh, canines unable to trace. Unknown cause of death. Of course, that always happens in the mountains and caves. Geological clusters. This meaning that the areas of the missing persons it happens more than people know about. Yosemite teenager disappears. Now this one was very bizarre, but I'm not going over this one yet. But there's two in the Yosemite park. One was a goddamn child. But this girl I have to go over and the child are in the same video. But uh... What is out there is the question taking these people. Because if they don't fall off the cliffs or nothing, and bodies are not found throughout any part of the mountain during their search, what's taking them is the question. This guy. And this actually was before Kenny Beach. 20... 11 or 2012 two years prior to the Kenny Beach disappearance this guy was an ex marine he too was an older gentleman he too loved to hike in the desert of Nevada and when you see how close in comparison and what I have drawn up on this I don't know if you won't, but I did. I freaked out. That was some shit. Now, right here, we have Sheep Mountains, Sheep Trail, Nevada, Turtle Head Peak Trail. I believe he was somewhere in between the Calico Tanks, Calico Tanks Trail and the Turtle Head Peak. It did mention Turtle Head Peak. This is the vehicle where he parked, where it was found, and of course, helped find me. Ron Kirk is his name. Last heard from 117, that was in 2012. Hiking, and the, uh, there it is. Calico Basin, car found, Calico Basin. You know, please contact. There's your number. 46 years old, 5'9", blonde hair, blue eyes, has many tattoos, avid outdoorsman. I mean, this man loved to hike, just like Kenny Veach. I don't think I saved that goddamn friggin' date, but it's in there. I think I did get the article. I have to, I don't know, if I do another thing on this, I, I'll get that up. But you can check him out for yourself if you want. There's his name back my record up now he is an experienced hiker this is the person of talking about people going up on these hikes in these deserts and stuff you know the area is previously searched and found nothing unknown cause of death they say a lot of these places also 
connect with boulders. So if the cave has boulders around it, or if the hike has boulders, a lot of people go missing there too. Water, boulders, and canines couldn't locate or trace. Once they lose the scent, they lay right down and that's that. So it's like, what is taking the people is right. Point of separation, this was for the uh, kid. No canine scent, geographical cluster near water. Search not continued after a week. <clears throat> now if they're in certain places where they're not to be, there's of course two things that I think without a body found, sometimes a body is found, but the cause of death is never known. There's only two things. One thing I'm always on this one, skinwalkers, spirits of the other world, spooking or terrifying or taking the souls of people, or two, government cover-up, or there could be a third one with extraterrestrial, huh? That's right, three things. Let's go with three. Three things that happen in these mountain caves to me, the mountains, the caves, are disguises. The underwater world, also a disguise or a tunnel ported to travel. The caves and mountains are all hidden underneath. That's right. So whatever's living in there is what's taking up these people. Something to think about. Whether it's the government with their experiments or there is extraterrestrial life underneath us, or sea serpents, or whatever else is, just like when Saint Mount St. Helens blew up, you have the Bat Squatch, which I believe is another Native American spirit creature to scare the daylights out of the white man and kill him. So, all this is coming into, into play. When people keep talking about stuff like this near water, near boulders, search after a week, everybody gives up because the dog scent is cut off. Here's my thing. Look at the nice formed triangle. Hmm? That's right. Up here is Sheep Mountain, the top of the triangle. Down here is um, where the new guy got lost. Kenny Veach, right up top in this area. Down here is the Air Force base. And, I mean, anywhere along this, whether this Air Force base, Air Force base, underground, tunneling or whatever it is that's under there as you can see this guy matches up right with Kenny Veach if that is where he was in the Sheep Mountains you know climbing up on top coming down in the little valley way in the Sheep Mountains to come out because he did say the highway he had to take a sharp left out of the mountains like I said coming down south take a left and his truck should have been somewhere over here by the highway. Or if he was closer near the air base, I don't think he could have been because there's no hard right out of these mountains that he can take to the highway. So he had to be either up in, maybe even in here, or these mountains. But they said sheep in the Kenny Beach near the sheep so this is sheep you scroll in on the map like this you will see sheep mountain so that's what I'm saying this guy down here the new guy that's his location of where he was hiking all in here so Air Force Base Kenny Beach and this guy hmm what lies beneath Nevada is right because Area 51 is somewhere in this area. Of course, you ain't going to see it on the map. Just like Skinwalker Ranch. You're not allowed to see it on the map. Ah, ah, ah. 
but of course if you stumble upon it do you disappear this guy down here near the south you know the right I mean the left of the triangle who knows what's under the city there with the Air Force base but it's something to think about in them caves and the underwater stuff where people come up missing with water is going to be in my next video because there's something that I came up about two people in a boat that's right and it only goes to show them yep what is underneath us putting the pieces of the puzzle together folks and to me there's something very 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 strange especially when you got two people like this missing around in the same vicinity of the Air Force base hmm hmm conspiracy of what what is underneath us I'd like to know but till the next video coming up that next one I gotta do I don't know maybe I'll do something else but then this is getting good man huh. like I said I lose touch of some things and then things start popping up and I just gotta keep searching this is my new job I'm hoping one day YouTube will start paying me respectively like they're supposed to you know really people I would like to start getting paid so I can do some traveling here I got some stuff I need to look in. Thanks. Till the next video, be safe, take care, beware. You don't know what is under there. Mm -hmm. Yep, what is a corn creek? Creek waterway. What else is now? Las Vegas, Nevada. Especially, it's especially Sin City, because what stays uh, happens in Sin City ha, stays in Sin City. I guess these two people will never be found because of Sin City or whatever is underneath it. Out.